our strength would be having a great customer service um, and be able to provide the services that our customers required, whether it was um, individuals who came to our doors or an employer, as, um, such as an example of today, we had a, um, a tremendous amount of people coming from a couple businesses who had a positive hits of COVID and we service them um, aside and in between all the other schedules that we had. We're there to help the community and I'm glad we're here. I, I think the biggest success was over at Bodega and um, we immediately started thinking about what was possible and um, we had already done the brown bag lunches and we started thinking about um, since all the restaurants were closed and just for carry out just to start doing the brown bag dinners and it was just wildly su successful right off the bat. We also um, um, saw an opportunity, you know, at, at that point Tip City was without a grocery store and um, so we started looking at, you know, we didn't want to become a grocery store, but what, what were some gaps that we could try to fill for the community? And that meant for a period of time we had toilet paper because we were able to get it. So um, that, um, you know, ground beef, um, eggs, just, you know, really kind of whatever we were able to provide, we really tried to do that for the community. When we found out we could reopen on June the 1st, um, one of the things we were told is you can reopen, but you can only have half of your enrollment, um, which meant half of our income, but yet we still had to have the same amount of staff to run the program. We had to have all new supplies, individual supplies for the children. We had to have cleaning supplies that we didn't have access to. Um, and, you know, I was literally sitting at home thinking, we're not going to reopen June 1st. And a group of our parents got together and they literally supplied every single kid in our building with individual supplies, pencils, crayons, glue sticks, paint, paper, I mean, anything you can imagine. Child Care Choices here locally, the referral center, um, got us all our cleaning supplies, all our masks, our rubber gloves. Um, we were just floored. And it, just having that support of the community to know that they cared whether or not we opened our doors back up, I think is what gave me the push to say, I have to do this. We have to open back up. We recognize that they were with us and they were supporting us. Um, we had a lot of families. We had a lot of businesses. Um, we had a lot of people come forward for us. Um, they would write, you know, and they would have signs. They would send us food. Um, they would call with flowers. Um, at one point, we had the high school kids come out right on our driveway, say thank you, heroes, for being there. Sorry, it's very emotional, but um, it was a tough time, but we knew that we had that community leadership to help us and um, keep us going along the way. Well, we uh, are, are continuing to move forward with opening our new branch. Um, so that's been uh, a bit of a struggle, just <laughs> trying to get through this year and, and work on the plans and work with everybody to do that. But we're excited that, you know, it is gonna happen in 2021. Um, I think that we, we've learned to work remotely if need be. Um, and at the same time, we've learned to do a lot more things electronically. So uh, we were almost forced to, but that was a good thing because we really needed to as well. And it's helped us um, uh, increase or, or make a lot of our operations or procedures a little bit smoother and, and better that way. Our world headquarters is in downtown Tip City, okay? And uh, we've been around for a long time and we have to be flexible in order to survive. And uh, with the remote access, with our uh, mobile banking, with our drive-throughs, there's a lot of different ways to, to do it. So we'll continue to expand on that coming forward. Uh, we've got it in our budgets to, to do more uh, online uh, setting up of accounts and, and things like that. So uh, not only are we physically gonna be here, we're also going to be virtually here as well. For me, the one word I would use to describe 2020 is opportunity. I think what it's really allowed me to realize is that even through negative situations, you can always need to remind yourself to look for the opportunity. The opportunity to make something good out of something bad. 
And for us, we've been able to do that. Uh, and I just need to remind myself to continue to do that.